Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Josh. Uh, in this channel we like to do a lot of improvements, upgrades, uh, installs, reviews, and especially how-to videos. So today uh, I just thought I'd make a quick video here on uh, how to uh, make your truck ride a bit smoother. If you're watching this, you probably own a three-quarter or one-ton truck and uh, you hate the ride, but love the motor in it, everything about the truck, but you just hate the ride. So, especially on these older trucks, uh, this goes for the 94 to 02 Dodges, but especially the older you get, the worse it gets. Depends on brand, year, whatever. But uh, yeah, the older the truck gets, generally the worse the ride gets, and as the future continued, better suspensions got uh, introduced, and uh, we were left with a nice riding truck. So anyways, for an old truck, how to make it uh, drive smooth for uh, about 50 bucks, I'm gonna say, and a little bit of work. Uh, so I battled not having weight in my truck because why haul around extra weight if you don't have to? But I always knew that having a little extra weight in your truck, all the old timers set it and stuff, guys that drive around with a bunch of weight to make them ride nice. I never liked that, I always like to have a nice quick truck without weight, hauling weight around. But uh, the road that I'm living on is full of potholes, bumps, dips, everything. Like, it, it's it's bad. So I uh, turn to uh, something that's practical in a couple different ways. Alright, so what you're going to need to do is go to your local uh, TSC if you're in Canada, tractor supply company in the States, or any uh, farm supply place, and buy yourself a horse mat. Uh, you, these things are five feet wide by seven feet long. So if you have an eight foot bed like I do, it either won't go quite to the front or the back. I chose to position mine to the back and uh, left the front open because as you can see, I have a board up there and I have uh, milk crates up there to keep all my supplies and trailer hitches, all that stuff that I, that I need because I only have a regular cab and I need, uh, I need the extra space. So if you have a short box, you're going to need to trim it. Uh, if you have a long box, you can set it right in, decide if you want it to the front or the back. And uh, for width, it will fit right between your tailgate here. It's just, just so, just about right. And it fits just perfect. I estimate this weighs around 80 pounds, but it's a nice even weight. And what uh, is a true benefit, guys, is nothing rolls around in here like it everything sticks you're not metal on metal you want to set something down in here whether it be a transmission or something it ain't gonna roll around you can strap it down there's a bit of cushion there for stuff you're not ruining your bed so I just got to trimming this thing around my wheel wells but I've been driving around with this in my truck for about two weeks now and man for extra traction in the winter is also a uh, really good bonus to this because it just gives you that little bit of traction that's why I did it mainly and the ride was perfect doesn't like I said doesn't add much weight but it's a perfect ride uh, especially for this uh, this truck it's got three quarter or one ton springs in it but it's a three quarter ton truck so it rides uh, fairly rough so getting into the truck here all I had to do, like I said guys, I took a exacto knife and I just trimmed around the wheel well here. I got it pretty close, nothing too uh, fancy, but I got it pretty close and it fits pretty pretty tight there. And uh, the back, I got a little off center, I had to trim this side a bit. Uh, but they don't make these mats perfectly square anyways. When they cut them, there's always a bit of a rib on the edge and stuff. Uh, so that you'll just have to square that up when you put it in your truck. So anyways, there you go. That's what it'll look like. Uh, if you do get water in the bed, these channels will drain it out. The other side's smooth, but I preferred this so you had a bit of grip in here. And your uh, bed already has the uh, ribs in it, so it'll drain under there anyways. All right, guys, so I hope you liked my video, and I hope this... Uh, is a solution for your problem of a rough riding truck and it also adds like I say the safety in the winter for some extra traction in the back end. As always guys thanks for watching and please give the channel a like and a subscribe. If my videos interest you please click on my channel and check out my other videos.